Welcome to another special episode of Entrepreneurs in Fuego. We're documenting the journey of incredible entrepreneurs, one digital footprint at a time. With me, I have today Bryce Cleveland. Bryce, What's up, my, man? my main man, man. Uh, scalp aesthetics. Yes. Scalp aesthetics. T tell us about. I, I got so many questions for you, yeah. man. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's like I don't know where to start yeah. but from the beginning, at the middle, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. Let's start with what scalp aesthetics all about. So, what scalp aesthetics is? It's the process of creating an illusion of hair by basically tattooing ink on your head. So, my head, it looks like I have hair, but really, it's a tattoo. What I did was I formulated and made a, a, the machine, the e the needle, the process, the ink from start to finish. And through building a culture within our community and really finding people who are passionate about doing what we do, we have over 150 locations all over the world. We're in Kuwait, Russia, um, Dubai, uh, the, you know, all throughout Europe, Australia, Mexico. We have 60 locations in the States. And how we've really built it is finding people passionate. You know, it's all about creating a culture of people who were changed by this. Every single person who, who has bought into our franchise is somebody who's been affected by balding in our life. If it's a woman, their husband had it, or if they have experience in it. If it's a guy, they were once a customer. They got so passionate about it. And what we call it, it's called the scalp of life. It's someone who's lost and now is found. It's scalp aesthetic, scalp of life. And it's a lifestyle. It's, it's you know, when you watch somebody and they, and, they, and they get their head done, how they change overnight, the sound of their voice, everything. They're just different people. They go out into life different. It's about living life different once you have this done. It's a, it's a confidence builder. Yeah. What it sounded to me like if somebody goes in there and they're yeah. very self-aware of something that they might have lost. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And they're like, even if it is some of your hair and everything else, and I might be, not just a talk show host, but I might also be a client. Yes, yes. <laughs> Exactly. But wait a minute, so that's an illusion. What, yeah, I, what, so, I'm, what yeah. I'm seeing right now is... is Exactly. Is it, is so we issue? mimic we, we mimic the exact the wow. exact follicle. We make the I mean everything is proprietary to us. And you know, when I first started this company, it wasn't easy. You know, I thought that it would be a hit. And it wasn't. I spent a lot of money in marketing and it, it was a it was a bust. And I'm like, why aren't people really tagging on to this? Because back in the day, you know, ten years ago, you tell someone you're gonna tattoo their head, it's gonna look like hair, they're gonna tell you to get effing lost. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> it's not that simple. And so I had what? to find I had to find my why. I had to come back and say, why am I doing this? I mean, what gets me up in the morning? Why right. am I right. getting into this? And it was to change lives. It was to help people. So what I did was I found kids from all over the world, not all over the world, mostly just in the country, and I fly them into upstate. I'm from Rochester, New York. I fly them in, and I do their heads for free. I keep flying them in, keep flying them in, keep flying them in. The media started getting attention on what we were doing. And I had my one friend, he had a limo service. He'd pick them up in a limo. My other buddy, he, he worked at a hotel. He got me discounts on the hotel. He'd put them up in hotels. My other buddy owned a restaurant. We'd feed them, right? So we'd treat these kids, and, make, and we'd find kids in, at, at hospitals, Hospitals, you know, that were that were suffering with cancer, that were, you know, between 16 and 18 years old, and we we changed. Like some of them were even younger, actually. You know, wow. we had parent consent. So I opened up my own locations across the East Coast, and I'm like, there's got to be a different way. I got to find people that see the vision that I see and see how this really can change people's lives. And you know, when you go out there and you believe in the miracles and you're open to the miracles in life, this thing, the world moves out of the way for you. And that's what's happening, up, you know, up till now. I mean, we just we keep on raising the bar and raising the bar and entering new locations. And you know, whatever 